about this day and this wedding and Kelly and Todd and how special it is and how lucky we all are to be part of this day. And so then I was thinking, well, how long have I known Kelly? And really, like, I had to sit there and think about it. It's been a really long time. And in that really long time, there are so many uh, stories that I could share with you. But So I thought, well, maybe I'll start and say something embarrassing, like how Kelly fell off the moped in Greece, or how she had to be carried out of the bar over somebody's shoulder on her 21st birthday because she couldn't stand up. And I thought, why don't I tell those stories? And maybe I could tell something nice. And I could go on for days about what a good friend that Kelly has been to me. It's basically nothing short of spectacular. But then I thought, I'm not going to talk about those things. There's a few numbers that all sort of come into play to get us to this point in time. So just bear with me for one second, and you'll see where they're all going. The first is 50. 50 is an important number because if you think about it, today really isn't just about this moment and the wedding that happened today. It's about the future. And so on this day, in 50 years, in 2059, more than likely, you're not going to just be celebrating with the two of you. It's going to be with your children and hopefully their children. So today really isn't just, like I said, the start. It's, it's the start of a future, of a new Davis family. So that's really something to look forward to. The next number is 31, and that's really easy because they got engaged on October 31st. Here we all are today on October 31st. And while they didn't technically meet on January 31st, they did meet on a New Year's Eve ski trip. So I'm going to count that as another 31. So then, <laughs> we're going to come to 17. 17 is a bit of a stretch, but it's my favorite number. I think it's lucky, and I got married on the 17th, so I'm going to go with 17. <laughs> the next number is 13, and 13 is the number of years that I've actually known Kelly. We were sorority sisters at Florida State in the same pledge class, and honestly, meeting Kelly has been, Kelly's one of my best friends, and I've always said I'd rather have a handful of really good friends than a room full of okay friends. So Kelly is, bar none, one of those really good friends. Two, another easy one, we're all here to celebrate the two of you tonight. And one, I think one is actually the most important number. One is because if there's anything I can say about being married, it's that there's gonna be ups and there's gonna be downs and there's gonna be everything in between. But at the end of the day, you're always gonna have that one person who's in your corner who's your personal cheerleader, who's always gonna be there for you. So what do all these numbers mean? They must be pretty lucky, so I thought maybe I could capitalize on that and buy a lottery ticket for tonight with those numbers. So I'm hoping that you win and that you're lucky enough to win, but even if you don't, even if you don't, just like being married, the point is, is just getting there and having fun, and it's all about how you do it. So congratulations to both of you. I couldn't ask for a better person for Kelly to find and for Todd to find. So congratulations and I love you both.